hello strangers <laughs> i'm all wrapped up because i'm about to go out but i couldn't sleep last night and i was just laying there pondering about life because your brain goes into overdrive when you can't sleep which stops you from being able to sleep even more which is very frustrating and i was like do you know what i haven't filmed or picked up this camera in a good three months and I do miss it, I miss um, editing the videos, I really love editing and I miss uploading and replying to comments and just having an interaction with you guys. So I was like, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look like I have no neck. I have a neck. I'm going to pick up the camera, I'm going to film my day, I'm going to do a daily vlog, I'm going to edit it because I'm home alone. This is my first weekday off in a very, very long time. Since moving to London I've had so many weekends off which I'm not complaining about at all i absolutely love it but sometimes when you're used to having a weekday off and just spending some like you time like you really treasure these days so i'm really making the most of this day of being alone i'm just gonna film it and see where the day takes us and edit it see how the video turns out and upload it and just see how i feel about it because i've kind of lost my mojo quite a bit with vlogging like i wasn't really enjoying it i was doing it for the sake of it because it's what I did and I felt like I was being quite fake with it because I wasn't really in a great place when I like stopped vlogging and that's kind of why I stopped because I just wasn't enjoying it at all. It felt like a bit of a chore and that's not what I want this to be like. This is a hobby, this isn't my job. It was a hobby and it was something that I enjoyed and I did it because I enjoyed it and I wasn't enjoying it and so I was just like no I'm just gonna put the camera down and I'm not gonna pick it up until I want to pick it up and I feel like I want to film. So yeah I'm gonna film my day, we're gonna have a daily vlog, we're gonna see how it goes and we're gonna go from there. This is not a promise that I am back at all, this is me just experimenting and seeing how it feels but right now I need to go on a little adventure and you're coming with me to try and find the post office in this place because I've never been to it before. I need to take an ASOS parcel back. It needs to be done soon because I need money and I don't need the dress that is in that bag. No, I do not. And the post office shuts at three and it's currently quarter past 12. So I'm going to go and do that now. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Have you missed me? Probably not. Let's go to the post office. <laughs> all wrapped up blooming cold outside apparently according to google maps who is my best friend since i've moved it's gonna take me 20 minutes to walk to this post office 20 minutes so oh hi <laughs> let's go look at our reef Cute. Don't fall down the step though. So cute. Let's go. The sun is so bright. I should have brought my freaking sunglasses. I can't see anything. Been to the post office. Cute little walk uphill. I'm not fit. I am not fit enough for these walks. I should have driven. Although that's very lazy of me. I'm glad I walked. This is my workout for the day. Done. So I was going to do a workout, but now I'm like I've walked all the way here. Therefore, workout done. Really cute little post office though proper little like village one in the news agents <laughs> feel like I'm back home <sighs> I need to go to Sainsbury's quickly though and I walk back so that I can get some super glue I've got a bit of DIY to do when I get back kind of DIY not really DIY on my wardrobe and then I can chill for the day definitely didn't need my scarf on I'm really hot right now a little bit sweaty it's attractive for you isn't it a little bit sweaty <laughs> Do you know there's an age restriction on buying super glue? I didn't know there was. I didn't get ID'd or anything, but I had to get approval at like the self checkout. Well, you learn something new every day. I'm nearly home, thank goodness. I need a cup of tea. So, my DIY jobby of the day is for my wardrobe because the floor is on a slight slant, so that door always opens. I've left that open, it doesn't normally open that wide, but it really bugs me. Um, that it kind of sits half open. I don't know why, but like my kind of just get a bit twitchy about it. <laughs> it really annoys me. So my brother, bless his heart, ordered me some magnets so that I could like stick magnets at the top of the door to hold it shut. But the magnets all face the same way. So they don't, so the sticky bit that's supposed to stick to the wall, I look rough. Anyway, the sticky bit that's supposed to stick to the side, like it doesn't. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So I bought some super glue to see if I can stick them to the top of the door. Like, you're not gonna be able to see them at all. The magnets are, like, literally tiny. I'll show you them. But hopefully, it will hold the door shut. 
I really hope it holds the door shut. Have a wardrobe that stays shut. Thank you. In the process of doing that, I got super glue all over my fingers and I also knocked my plant over. But I have a wardrobe that stays shut. Yes. Yes. I don't know if you can see, but I actually got super glue on my lip too. <coughs> I think I've kind of managed to get most of it off. I thought I would show you our Christmas decorations in the house. So on the staircase, we have little sacks with our initials on. Cute, cute. We were going to put our presents in them, but I think they look cuter, like, on the banister. Then, as you come in the front door, we've got this little sign here, let us know. And I absolutely love this tree. Like, it's really subtle. So much glitter. Like, it just covers you in glitter, but it's really subtle. I absolutely love it. And then you come through to the living room. Here we are. And the first thing you see is our table. We've got a cute little runner on it. We had Christmas on Saturday, so... These are from Crackers. We've got a cute little runner on it that has little reindeers on. Yes, I have odd socks on. I've lost the other one of that and I've lost the other one of that. Then on the sofa, we've gone for some red cushions and a nice red throw. We've got our cards up. We've got our advent calendars of which we have pretty much forgotten to open. It's really bad. We all have our own ones and then we had house ones and we've forgotten to open the house ones. Then we have the tree. Wait, let me put the lights on. Ready? Ah! Focus! Focus! Focus on the tree! There we go. Then we have our tree, which we've just put on like the table to make it stand higher. With our star on the top, which matches the tree in the hallway. Love it. Love it. And we got this done with our names on. Focus. And I think we're going to get one of these done every year, and then obviously as and when people leave. Um, we can then change up. We all got our own baubles. This was the one that I picked because I just love frosted glass at Christmas. Don't know why. Very Christmassy. Love our tree. Then we've got our fairy lights up here which are actually up all year round anyway so that's not exciting. We have, oh, on the table we've got a little tub of chocolates in and then we've got a little centerpiece here. Peanuts still. And then over by the TV We've got some pine cones in a wooden star thing. I really like this. I think this is really cute. And some candles. And then we've got a Santa hat on the TV because it's really funny having the Santa hat on the corner of the TV. So when you're watching a film or something, someone always ends up wearing the hat, as in like one of the characters on the film always ends up wearing the hat. And then we have a fireplace, which I absolutely love. Just here, so we've got the garland on there and then all of our initials. Bippa bought these, they're really cute. Um, and more pine cones and yeah that's that's our Christmassy living room let's do a little overview oh Christmas so much Christmas in here I think it's just enough like it's really subtle I definitely could have done more I would have liked to have put fairy lights a bit like everywhere but <laughs> we kept it subtle so cute right I love it now I need to go back to being an adult and I'm going to tidy the kitchen and I'm going to make some lunch. I was going to have lunch first, but I'm the type of person that once I've sat down, I will not be bothered to get back up again, so I won't do the kitchen, so I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I'm hoping that doing the washing up is going to get rid of all the super glue that's on my fingers now. Mm. Let me know what your favourite Christmas dessert is. Mine is 100% Yule Log. 
Oh my goodness, it's so good. I love it. We had it on Saturday with brandy cream. It was so good. We've still got a Belgium chocolate bomb and mince pies to eat as well. Gonna get fat this season. <laughs> Because I haven't vlogged in so long, my battery is now flashing at me. So I'm going to go charge that and have some lunch because I'm very hungry now. And then I will get back to you. Although the washing up definitely didn't help with getting super glue off my fingers. It got a little bit off, but I can't feel properly. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to open my phone. Oh, I still need to hoop at this. Okay, let's go. It's much later now and I'm blooming freezing. I'm so cold, um, so I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to have a mince pie because it's Christmas and it's allowed and I currently have happy feet on downstairs. So I feel like I'm going to end this here because I don't think I'm, anything else ex is really going to happen today. I'm just going to sit and drink tea and try and keep warm and wait for the girls to come home basically. So I'm going to end it here and I'm going to edit it and see how it turns out, see if it is a bit shit or if it's not who knows let's go i've got my little fairy lights on in my window put little fairy lights up they're gonna stay up all year round though they are not just for christmas fairy lights are not just for christmas they are for all year round <laughs> uh, yes a cup of tea is definitely something that is needed so i just wanted to say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it hope it wasn't too boring i don't know if i'm back permanently i'm i think I, what i'm gonna do is every time i just feel like vlogging or i want to vlog I'm going to obviously but I'm not going to do weekly vlogs they're going to be daily things or maybe a few days into one just to kind of make up enough time I don't know how long this is going to be or anything like there is a lady walking past my window she's full-on talking to herself like full conversation with herself although it says the girl who is stood <laughs> with a camera pointing at her talking to herself so yeah I can't really talk there can I but it's time to go edit with tea. Oh my goodness, I really need a cup of tea. The settings on this have gone really weird. My skin looks fabulous on this setting. I don't know what it's on. I didn't change it. Maybe I knocked it. Rambling, rambling. Also, can I just say thank you to everyone that has newly subscribed to my channel. Even though I haven't been uploading, I've still gained so many subscribers, which is so lovely of you guys. So thank you and hello if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Hopefully you will see some of me. Let's just mute happy feet for a second. No, I have not been sat on this sofa eating chocolate. I, I just don't, that's just a lie, I haven't. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did to let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Um, what is your family tradition for Christmas? What do you do for Christmas? Where do you go? Who do you see? Let me know. I will possibly see you in another vlog. Goodbye. <laughs>